If your Xbox is not opening in Windows 10 or Windows 11, then you can fix this easily. Just follow the steps. First, go to your Windows search and type the Windows PowerShell. And now you can just right click on it and run as administrator and click on the yes. So when it was open, now here you will have to just paste this command, this simple command, this command you will find in the description box so you can easily copy and paste it. Hit the enter and it will be running like this processing or some processing your deployment operations so you can keep doing this so we will move to our next step go to your windows search again and you can type the cmd just type the command prompt and now you can right click on it and click on the run as administrator click on the yes so when it was open now here you will have to just paste this command this command you will find in the description box it will be checking all the files in your c drive and if there is any corrupted file it can fix automatically so when this verification process was completed to 100 percent it means it's completed so you can just little wait for it let's move to our next step go to your window search and type xbox so when you type the xbox now you will see on the right hand side app settings just open it and here you can just little scroll down you will see this reset option just click on it again click on the reset so it will be reset all the apps it can delete app data or just reset your app to the new so after it will be resetted now you can just close it and just wait for it till then this command will be completed so when this command will be completed now you can go to your window search again and type cmd right click on it and on the administrator again and now here you will have to just paste this command this command you will find in the description box and hit the enter and also wait till then this command will be completed again go to your windows search and type the powershell again so now you are seeing the windows powershell just right click on it and run as administrator so when it was open now here you will have to just paste this command this command will, you will find in the description box hit the enter and also type this command and hit the enter these two commands you will find in the description box so you can easily copy and paste it so after running these commands you can just close it and you can also close this windows powershell and also wait till then this command will be completed so after this command is completed now you can go to your windows search again and type the services and now you can open your windows services so now here you can just click on the any service and just press the x so when you press the x it will give you the xbox services now you can right click on it go to its properties and now you're seeing it is xbox live networking service you can choose the startup type to automatic and just click on apply start and okay and after this now you can open this second services right click on it go to its properties and here you can choose the startup type to automatic and then click on the apply and then stop this and then click on the start and then click on the ok after that now you can just again do these same steps for the other two services which is the xbox live game save and xbox live networking save so after you can just choose the startup type automatic you can just close this and just restart your pc after all of these steps so after all of these steps you can just restart and you can check back i'm very sure after these steps your problem will be fixed so if your problem is fixed, please like this video and also subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day.